opening. Blue Ink Fades and the title of the animated series, Peace of Mind in Challenging Times, appears. Leaves Drift By, bringing out the title of this animation, Being Wise and Adaptive. Auntie Moy, who is in a pink jacket, smiles and waves her hand towards the camera. She is Auntie Moy. She is quite energetic. She does exercises every morning and on occasion dates her friends for yumcha. Auntie Moy does morning exercises in the park. Then she goes inside a restaurant and greets her two friends. They watch television together. The news is broadcasting a procession. Yet Auntie Moy is not feeling too good recently. My goodness, the violence is so scary. My heart is pounding. Auntie Moy sits under the spotlight with her hands pressed against her head, imagining the processions and roadblocks on the street. Auntie Moy gets frightened when reading news of processions. She worries that she would come across them when she goes out, or that she wouldn't be able to return home safely. And so she keeps herself at home, but feels even worse. Auntie Moy stays at home while it is raining outside. She frowns and looks worried. The picture shrinks into a piece of drawing paper held by a female expert. The headline, Expert Advice, appears. When we are really afraid of something, we often overestimate its danger or severity. For instance, if we are told that people who wear certain clothing did something bad, we will think that others wearing the same clothes are bad as well. Illustration the picture shifts to a man wearing a black jacket and a pair of sunglasses. Auntie Moy is frightened at seeing the man with the image of a demon appearing in her mind. Or even though the public transport has returned to normal, we continue to worry about traffic problems and fear going out, choosing to stay home instead. Illustration The picture shows that the buses and minibuses are running smoothly, but Auntie Moy shakes her head and still looks worried. Sometimes we make something out to be really scary, making ourselves feel overly worried and anxious. Illustration. A cloud appears and raindrops fall on Auntie Moy. The cloud gradually turns dark and raindrops even turn into fireballs. Auntie Moy shakes her head, looking worried. The expert shows up again with a light bulb next to her and the headline, tips, written below. Let's think about this. Despite violent incidents happening in certain places, large parts of the city are still safe. Subheading, analyze rationally. Illustration. The picture shows the map of Hong Kong with three dialogue boxes popping up one by one. They are the scenes of a procession. Two seniors sitting and chatting in the park and a senior shopping in a supermarket. So while we should stay away from places with conflicts, we should also try to keep a daily routine and not be overly avoidant. Subheading, keep calm. Illustration. Auntie Moy inhales with her nose and exhales with her mouth slowly. When we are feeling anxious, take a deep breath to calm down. Subheading. Resume daily routine. Illustration. Auntie Moy walks on the street alone and greets someone she meets. Later, a friend shows up next to Auntie Moy and walks along with her. And gradually resume our usual outings. At first, go to nearby places that we are familiar with. Then gradually go farther and for a longer time. We may also ask a family member or friend to go with us. Subheading be flexible. Illustration. Auntie Moy calls her friends and relatives. Then a metro rail, a bus and a minibus appear separately. The minibus heads towards a building at last. Try to make flexible arrangements, like planning to meet our friends in a safer place and discuss with our family how to tackle unexpected events like finding alternative traffic routes to get home if necessary. The expert holds a piece of drawing paper. The picture zooms in, showing the door of a community centre. After a period of time, Auntie Moy goes back to the community centre. Auntie Moy sees the staff of the community centre and another senior friend. She waves to them happily. 
the staff are pleased to see her again. Hello, Auntie Moy. We heard you were worried about running into unexpected events earlier. Are you less worried about it now? A bit worried still, but I can't run away from it. I think even if I do see any violence, I will just make a detour. That should be fine. Auntie Moy smiles. The staff pats Auntie Moy's shoulder. That's great. Recently, many friends also fear going too far away. I felt the same. Luckily, one of my friends took the bus with me, and that made me feel much safer. I saw that the situation is actually not as bad as I thought, so I'm all right now. I think I'm able to come alone next time. The female expert shows up again with a light bulb next to her and the headline "Reminders" written below. Decorative illustrations relating to the following four reminders appear one by one on the screen. In fact, when facing these unexpected events, we can do some relaxation exercises to relieve anxiety. Try to keep a daily routine. Reduce stress through physical and social activities, and seek help from family and friends if needed. The logos of the Department of Health and Elderly Health Service appear. The following text also appears on the screen. May 2020. The Department of Health owns the copyright of this video. This is produced solely for non-commercial use. It should not be rented, sold, or otherwise used for profit-making purposes. End of video.